Okay, Maddie, last question. Does ABA work for kiddos that are nonverbal? Of course it does. Just, you know, just as it works for high-functioning kids, it's going to work for kids who are nonverbal. It, it, I've seen you have to modify the, the way that you're teaching these kids and the way that they're learning. Um, but there are ways to do it. I mean, I've taught kids who are nonverbal how to play guess who, like a game that you think you would need words. You can still teach that game, and it's it's all individualized. And so, yes, it, it definitely works for kids who are nonverbal. Okay, so um, I think the moral of the story here is that what you should be doing is getting ABA, getting the full prescription, getting as many hours as you can. In every state in the United States now, there is some coverage for ABA. Um, if you do not qualify for the coverage that is there, please write to us directly at the show so that we can give you a step-by-step -step guide to things that you can do so that you can either get access, or coverage, or something that helps you to be able to receive these services, which are so life-changing. I know that firsthand. Maddie, thank you so much for being here with us today and answering these questions and for being such a wonderful resource for the families, in, especially in Poway, but uh, all over Southern California. We really appreciate the work that you're doing. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.